In 2011, Samsung engineers were told they had an impossible task – make a glass screen that folds in half without breaking. The rest of the industry said it couldn't be done. Today, we're taking you inside the secret labs where Samsung's engineers transformed smartphone design forever. You'll see exactly how they solved problems no one thought could be fixed, the clattering of test machines and the focused energy of engineers working tirelessly. You'll witness the meticulous process that made folding screens possible. Can technology truly bend without breaking, or is this just a high-priced illusion worth $1,500? Let's find out. Think about your phone for a second. Is it a thin, rectangular slab of glass? For over a decade, smartphones have followed this exact same blueprint. Back in 2010, the smartphone industry hit a design plateau. Companies competed on specifications and camera quality, but the fundamental form remained unchanged. Samsung saw this stagnation as an opportunity. In 2011, they launched a top-secret project with an ambitious goal that seemed straight out of science fiction – create a smartphone with a screen that could fold in half without breaking. This represented a fundamental reimagining of what a smartphone could be. The challenge was monumentally difficult. Samsung's engineers faced three seemingly impossible material science problems that had to be solved simultaneously. First, they needed to create glass that could bend repeatedly without cracking. Imagine trying to make a ceramic plate flexible. Second, they had to ensure the fold point wouldn't develop visible damage after thousands of uses, similar to preventing a crease in paper that's been folded repeatedly. And third, they needed to maintain perfect pixel alignment when the screen was bent, like keeping a row of dominoes perfectly aligned while the table beneath them folds. Early attempts were disastrous. Initial prototypes failed catastrophically during testing, with screens developing cracks after just a few fold cycles. Visible lines appeared at the crease point, and the folding mechanisms felt flimsy and unreliable. Every solution to one problem seemed to create new issues elsewhere. These failures became the catalyst for completely rethinking display technology. Samsung's research team realized traditional glass was fundamentally incompatible with folding, so they began experimenting with entirely new materials. They tested polyamide films with specialized coatings that could provide the necessary flexibility while maintaining optical clarity. Despite mounting pressure and public doubt, the engineers pushed on, steadfast in their belief that the impossible was within reach. The breakthrough came years into the project, when Samsung's material scientists developed ultra-thin glass, or UTG. This revolutionary material was glass thinner than a human hair. So thin, it could actually bend repeatedly without breaking when properly layered with polymer materials. Creating this material required inventing entirely new manufacturing processes. Throughout this multi-year journey, Samsung's engineering team faced immense pressure to abandon the project. Critics argued they were chasing an impossible dream, while competitors made safer improvements to conventional designs. But Samsung persisted. After seven years of development and testing over a thousand different material combinations, the team finally created a display that could fold more than 200,000 times without failing, roughly equivalent to folding your phone 100 times every day for over five years. Creating a revolutionary display that could fold without breaking was only half the battle. The unsung hero of Samsung's foldable phones isn't the screen you interact with daily, but rather the intricate hinge mechanism working silently behind the scenes. This precision-engineered component needed to perform flawlessly thousands of times while protecting the delicate display from an invisible enemy dust. When Samsung's engineers examined their flexible screen breakthrough, they quickly realized they faced another major hurdle. A traditional hinge would create a gap when folded, essentially leaving a back door open for tiny particles to enter and damage the screen from behind. It's like building the world's most advanced aquarium, but leaving a hole in the glass. Even the smallest opening could lead to disaster. The engineering team found themselves caught in a paradox. The hinge needed to solve multiple contradictory problems simultaneously. It had to provide perfect support for the flexible display, while preventing even microscopic particles from entering the mechanism. And it needed to do this reliably, thousands of times, while being carried in pockets and bags filled with lint and debris. Early prototypes revealed just how delicate this balance would be. Hinges that were too rigid damaged the screen, creating pressure points that led to display failures. Designs that were too loose allowed dust to enter, which could scratch the back of the screen or jam the mechanism. Finding the perfect middle ground seemed nearly impossible. 
To tackle this challenge, Samsung built a specialized testing facility where robotic arms continuously folded and unfolded prototype phones. These machines simulated five years of real-world use by repeating the folding motion 200,000 times, identifying exactly how failures occurred in each design iteration. After countless prototypes and robotic tests, success was finally in sight. The breakthrough came with what Samsung calls sweeper technology. Imagine tiny brooms sweeping away dust with every fold. This is how Samsung protected its delicate display. These microscopic brush-like fibers inside the hinge actively clean dust particles as you open and close the phone, pushing out any debris that might find its way into the mechanism. But engineering challenges didn't stop there. The team had to design a hinge with variable tension that would feel natural to users. It needed to stay open at any angle, while being smooth enough to close easily with one hand. This required precision typically found in luxury watchmaking rather than smartphone manufacturing. The final hinge design contains over 60 precisely crafted components, working together in perfect harmony. Samsung's extensive patent portfolio for this single component creates a significant barrier for competitors attempting to enter the foldable phone market, protecting the entire interconnected system that makes the hinge function reliably. Despite all those patents and engineering triumphs, Samsung was about to learn the hardest lesson in innovation when their first foldable phone hit the real world. What happens when a company spends years and millions of dollars developing revolutionary technology only to watch it fail spectacularly within days of reaching reviewers' hands? The catastrophic launch of the Galaxy Fold in 2019 would test whether Samsung's foldable dream could survive its collision with reality. The moment of truth arrived when Samsung sent review units of their $1,980 technological marvel to tech journalists. Within just 48 hours, reports flooded in of screens bubbling, flickering, and failing completely. Tiny debris particles slipping under the display through small design gaps. Some reviewers mistakenly removed what appeared to be a disposable screen protector, unaware it was actually a crucial protective layer of the display. Samsung had no choice but to recall every Galaxy Fold unit and indefinitely postpone the launch. This became a financial nightmare, costing millions in manufacturing, shipping, and marketing expenses, while severely damaging consumer confidence. The concept of foldable phones suddenly appeared to be an expensive experiment unready for daily use. Where many companies would have abandoned ship, Samsung viewed the disaster as a challenge to overcome. Like an architect discovering a critical flaw in their masterpiece's foundation, they returned to the drawing board rather than scraping the entire vision. Engineers extended the protective film beyond the bezel to prevent accidental removal, added protective caps to the hinge, and strengthened the entire mechanism to better support the delicate display. Even with these improvements, Samsung faced another significant hurdle. The $1,980 price tag exceeded many high-end laptops. This raised serious questions about whether foldable technology could move beyond being an expensive curiosity for tech enthusiasts. Average consumers simply couldn't justify spending nearly twice the price of premium flagship phones for an unproven product. Samsung responded with a strategic pivot, expanding their foldable lineup to include different formats. The Z Fold series continued as their productivity-focused device. While they introduced the Z Flip, a style-conscious clamshell design reminiscent of flip phones from the early 2000s, this offered a more compact form factor at a slightly lower price point, broadening foldable technology's appeal. The technical challenges extended beyond hardware. Samsung collaborated with Google and app developers to create screen continuity, ensuring apps could transition smoothly between displays like chameleons adapting to their environment. Apps needed to transform their layouts gracefully when moving from the smaller outer display to the larger inner screen. By their third generation of foldable phones, Samsung had addressed most durability concerns plaguing the original Galaxy Fold. The displays became more scratch-resistant, hinges more reliable, and water resistance protected against everyday spills. Perhaps most importantly, prices began trending downward, though foldables remained firmly in the premium category. So where do we go from here? While Samsung has proven foldable technology works, the question remains whether consumers will embrace it beyond tech enthusiasts. What's particularly fascinating is how these engineering achievements will influence the broader smartphone landscape. The material science breakthroughs, hinge mechanisms, and software adaptations pioneered by Samsung will likely appear in other devices and form factors.
Industry analysts predict that as manufacturing processes mature, these devices will become available to a wider audience. While today's models remain a luxury at $1,300 to $1,500, tomorrow's foldables might be within reach of average consumers as the technology scales. The engineering feats behind these flexible screens marks the beginning of a new era in smartphone design, a testament to human ingenuity transforming the impossible into reality.